but I didn't want to spend the money on it. So I eventually came across these. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Amazon favorites video. This one's just a general Amazon favorites. If you guys missed my last one, I did one focused on my travel favorites. So if you're traveling the season, I highly recommend checking out that video as well if you haven't seen it yet. But like I said, for today's Amazon favorites, this one is more of a general Amazon favorites video, especially with Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up. I wanted to make sure to share some favorites with you guys in case you're in the market for anything for yourself or might just be doing some early Christmas shopping, which reminds me of course please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and you enjoy this video in a couple weeks I'm gonna be doing my annual Amazon gift guide for stocking stuffers or just general gift ideas for specific people in your life so like I said if you enjoy this video you definitely don't want to miss this one make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and of course for everyone watching please make sure to like this video and leave me a comment down below let me know some of the things that you've been loving from Amazon lately but we'll go ahead and dive right into it because I feel like I've got a lot of really really good things this time around so the first item that I want to mention is the new steamer that we got. This one isn't advertised necessarily as a travel steamer, but we did bring it with us when we went to Big Bear. So we have traveled with it. It fits really nicely in the suitcase. It doesn't like fold up or anything, but it's just like one unit like this. So it was really easy to pack and didn't take up a lot of room in our luggage anyways. But we do love this as our steamer in general. This works so well. The quality on this is really, really good. I also love the aesthetics of it. I just like love how sleek it is. I love that it's white. It's really easy to load. You just push in the bottom comes right out and then just unscrew the top and then you put in water this way close it and then you literally like leave it out and pop it back in and then it's ready to go it heats up the second you plug it in so it's really really convenient and I feel like part of the reason why it works so well was because it kind of acts like an iron as well this whole part is metal and I will tell you it does get hot I have burned myself on it so be careful so besides it just steaming everything if you press it against the fabric it's gonna iron it a little bit as well so all in all really great steamer highly recommend this one then next are a pair of shoes that I unboxed in a recent vlog. I have been on the hunt for some Birkenstock dupes. I feel like they're sold out everywhere and the Boston clog is just like such a trendy item that I don't want to invest in the real thing. I don't know if I'm really gonna like love it that much later on, but I feel like for the moment right now, I'm totally into the trend. I wanted a pair of Birkenstock Boston clogs so bad, but I didn't want to spend the money on it. So I eventually came across these. These are perfect. I love them so much. The buckle is a little bit different and it does have the actual brand name on it, but Otherwise, the style is down to a T. The material on this also feels like really, really good quality. It feels like real suede. I don't think it is, but it feels like suede and the construction on this is amazing. These have so much support, it's insane. I wear them like anytime I need to do a lot of walking if I don't wanna wear sneakers. I'll wear them to go shopping, to run errands, to take Spartacus to the park or on a walk and stuff. And they have really, really amazing support. They're super cushioned and my foot doesn't slide out of them at all. So if you guys have been looking for a pair of Birkenstock stock Boston clog dupes that isn't gonna break the bank definitely check these out I believe they're only like $35 I will let you know that they did take probably about two and a half three weeks to get to me so no the shipping time is a little bit long but it's definitely worth it Next up is a set of claw clips. So I got this pack that comes with three different styles. I specifically got it for the flower clip. At her bachelorette, Michelle gifted us these and I loved mine so much that I wanted to get more. So I saw this pack that had a variety pack. Each style comes in like three different colors. So I think you get 12 clips total, which is perfect. You will never have to buy a claw clip again because you're gonna have so many in like pretty much every color in any type of style you need. So like I said, it does come with the flower one and this one's my favorite of the flower ones, the tortoise flower. I just thought that it was like really unique. I've seen the flower ones come in all different colors but I haven't seen tortoise yet. So really loving this one. And then this one's very, very similar to the viral one that everyone loves, the like really big one that has kind of like a waxy finish. This one has a waxy finish too. But in this pack, I think Two of these have a waxy finish and then you get two that are smooth. All of them still hold your hair really, really well. If I need my hair to hold really well without budging, this is the one that I use the most because it fits all of my hair since I do have thick hair. And then lastly, it comes with this clip. This one's more of a medium one. If you have short to medium hair, this is perfect. It's gonna hold your hair really well. If you have longer hair, you have to get a little bit more creative and strategic on how to place this in your hair because it doesn't hold quite as much hair, but I do really love the style of this. I think it's like a 
fun shape and design so I make it work for my hair still but yeah if you need claw clips definitely get this or like for the holidays if you have a bunch of girlfriends get this set and then you can like gift everyone a claw clip or two from it so sticking with hair I can't believe I forgot this product in my last Amazon favorites video I was so mad at myself but I had to include it here. This thing is freaking viral for a reason. It's so good. This is what a lot of the celebrities out there use. This is the Tancho High Grade Teak. It's a pomade for your hair. And if you want like the sleekest ponytail or low bun, this is what you need to use. Your hair will not budge. It smooths it down so perfectly. There's no bumps, no flyaways, no nothing. And it doesn't leave your hair crunchy. I hate using like hairspray and gel for things like that because I don't want it to feel like my hair has turned into a helmet. So I love using this because it's like a lot softer of a texture. And then if I want to have my hair down the next day, I'm actually able to. It doesn't like leave that bad of a residue in my hair. I mean, my hair would look better if it was fresh without this in it, but it still doesn't look that bad the next day if I want to switch to a style with my hair down. So you guys need this if you are a low bun, low ponytail, or even high ponytail. I mean, you got to slick back those edges. But if you are a hair up kind of girl, this is an absolute necessity for you. And I know one of the complaints that people have about this is that like it comes out like this and you can't push it back down really easy they even send you instructions with it you just want to push it all the way up you're going to pull the stick all the way out and then just pop it back in through the bottom to where you want it to go and that's all you have to do to put it back together so if that's been stopping you from getting this that's how you fix it now you have no excuses get this hair stick then I guess we might as well just stick with beauty and I'll just finish out the rest of the products. This next product is literally the best brow product I've ever used in my life. I discovered it on TikTok through Dutes Fit. She is typically a fitness influencer, but her brows always look so good and everyone always asks what she used and she finally posted it. So I went out and got it and you guys, I will never use another brow product as like the base for my brows ever again. This product holds them so well and it gives that like really fluffy laminated look that is super trendy right now and that I personally feel like I, I love it. I never want to stray from like this kind of style. It's like so natural and it makes your brows just look so full. But it is the Schwartz Cough Got To Be Glued For Brows and Edges Gel. So you can use this on your brows like it says. You can also use it to lay down your edges if you want. I think this combined with the teak, you're gonna get like the sleekest ponytail or bun of your life. But this for your brows is so incredible. Like I said, I can't stop using it. I will probably never use another brow product to shape my brows ever again because this just does such a good job and I mean you can use the regular got to be which I have tried to do before and it's just it's too messy to use that even if you use like a spoolie with it I feel like this is like a very very similar formula but a little bit less intense so it's not as much of a mess as if you're just like using regular got to be glue but on this one in particular i think it's like really the brush that does such a great job so you guys can see on one side it's like a little bit short so i use that to deposit the product onto my brows and kind of start lifting them and then on the other side it's a little bit longer and that's what i'll use to shape my brows and then like lay down the top and stuff and like i said it works so good it's magic i love it get this okay the next product i don't have in hand but i can definitely put clips of me using it on the screen. I'll also put a picture of it as well. But I think it's the Ariana or Aria brow lamination kit with glue. You guys, I rave about this lamination kit every single time I laminate my brows. I've stopped going to a salon for them because this kit literally gives me salon results. It's insane. It's only like 45 bucks versus paying 80 to 100 dollars every single time i go and i get at least three good uses out of the kit so it's definitely much more economical especially with like inflation and everything to just be able to laminate my brows at home which i wasn't able to do before with any of the kits that i was using my brows would like fall instantly or i would like laminate my brows and the brow hairs wouldn't be as malleable and standing up as well as when i went to go get them done in a salon until i started using this kit because of the glue the glue is like the secret piece to the puzzle that will literally give you salon brow results at home so if you guys have been wanting to like laminate your brows definitely check out this kit it's easy to use and like i said the results are like professional level 
Next up, I want to mention a pair of slippers that I have in two colors. I've never really been a slippers girl until recently. I got these specifically for when we went to Big Bear so that I could wear slippers around the cabin. I knew that it was going to be cold and I also just like, I don't want to walk barefoot around there because it's not my home. I just wanted to make sure that I had something on my feet at all times. So I decided to give in. I got these like fuzzy slippers that like cross in the front. I got them in the steel blue. I thought that would be really cute for the mountains and I am obsessed. I wear these at home all the freaking time. They're so comfy. They're so cozy. They keep my feet warm without overheating, which is really, really nice. And I actually have them in two colors. I'm wearing the black ones right now on my feet as I'm filming because Michelle actually gifted us these. So I came to the cabin with these and then left with a second pair, which I was very, very happy about. But yeah, if you're looking for some house slippers, cannot recommend these enough. They are definitely trendy for a good reason. The next favorite of mine is a bag. I've been wanting a sleek black shoulder bag for a while. I've been wanting like a hobo style. I do have like my YSL, but it's a little bit chunkier. And also, especially if I'm traveling and stuff, I don't want to always bring a designer bag. So I've been in the market for a more affordable black hobo shoulder bag. And I came across this one from JW Pay. And you guys, I use this so much i love this bag it was like the perfect style for what i was looking for i love the croc on it i love the black with the gold black and gold is like one of my favorite combinations and i love this design detail of how it like kind of comes back here into a point it's also actually surprisingly spacious i remember when i first unboxed it i was like a little bit nervous i was like how much can i really fit in this and this fits my vlog camera it fits my wallet fits a lip gloss fits my phone fits my keys if it's all the essentials that i'm gonna need if i'm gonna like run out the door especially like for a night out so if you guys have been looking for a black shoulder bag i cannot recommend this one enough it's really really good quality this was my first time ordering from jw pay and i was just like completely blown away by how nice this bag looks and feels like with the attention to detail on this bag it honestly looks designer at least to me it does and i do recommend getting it off of amazon i know that jw pay does like discounts and stuff on their bags but usually the amazon prices match the discounted price on the jw pay website and the bonus with getting it on amazon is you don't have to pay for shipping and I feel like it gets to you a lot faster than if you were to order directly from JW Pay. So if you need a little black bag for the holidays, this is the one. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to end off this vlog with a series of coffee favorites. I recently got the Nespresso for 2O Plus. I got it on Prime Day. I obviously don't have it up here because I wasn't going to unplug it and disassemble it to just bring it up here. So I will, of course, include photos and clips. But we upgraded our Nespresso. We used to have the Nespresso Anisia. It was a gift from my parents and I cannot live without my Nespresso. And unfortunately the Nisia broke and we decided to give the Virtuo Plus a try. And you guys, I am obsessed with our coffee maker. It's so good. I love that everything on the Virtuo Plus is automatic. Like the top on it, all you have to do is like touch it and it automatically lifts up and closes on its own. And it's just like a one button system because it actually reads the barcodes on the pods. So it knows what size each pod is for. It's just amazing. I love everything about it. I love that the water tank on the back of it can like move different directions so you can fit it into different places. It's just it's the best. I'm so glad that we got it. We only got like a couple things on Prime Day. That was definitely the biggest one. And it was like my favorite purchase. Like my whole life, at least before 11 a.m., revolves around my Nespresso. But along with the Nespresso, we did get a few other accessories with it. The first item, again, I don't want to bring it up here. I don't want to drag it up here. But the first item that we got for it was a universal pod holder drawer. I went through a lot of research looking for different pod holders and drawers for the Virtuo pods because they come in all different sizes. Like I said, the machine reads the barcode on the pod so it knows what size coffee to give you because they're all fitted to a specific coffee size. So a lot of the drawers and holders had like specific slots for like a single shot, a double shot, a full coffee and stuff like that. But I wanted one where you didn't necessarily have to like assign a pod to a specific spot. So I came across this glass one that has universal slots it's just got like a bunch of slots going all up and down so you can kind of customize what pods fit where and it's just been so perfect it stores them so nicely i love pulling out the drawer in the morning and seeing all my pods lined up in there i love restocking it it's like my favorite activity so if you have a virtuo and you've been looking for some kind of way to store the pods definitely check out this drawer it's like hands down the best one i found out there then since we got a new nespresso you guys know i of course had to go get new mugs i'm obsessed with mugs Mugs are just like 
a thing for me. But I've been really wanting like really big double walled glass mugs. And my coffees that I make are really big. So I needed something that was going to be able to hold a decent amount of liquid. And I came across these 15 ounce double walled glass mugs. And these were exactly what I was looking for. I love the shape, how it's kind of bulbous. That is what I had been looking for. And this actually does hold my coffee plus my creamer. That was like an issue that I run into with a lot of other mugs. They just don't hold the volume of coffee that I typically make for myself. So these ones are perfect. If you like to make yourself a really big coffee and you want like a clear aesthetic mug. Then next, I was also looking for new espresso cups. I don't typically make espresso to like sip on, but whenever I want an iced coffee, I prefer to do an espresso shot over ice with milk. So I saw these little espresso cups with spouts on them and I was like, oh my God, that is exactly what I need. Cause like I said, I don't really drink espresso on its own. I like to pour it over ice and this is perfect cause it has the spouts. Makes it really easy to just go ahead and pour my shot into my cup. And this can hold a double shot. So if you want to make like an extra strong iced espresso, you you can go ahead and pour up to two shots in this. Then my last favorite are my go-to iced coffee cups. Again, just like my hot coffee, I tend to make a pretty big volume of iced coffee. So I needed to make sure that I had cups that could hold that volume. And I've always been a big fan of like the beer can glasses, but I know that the 12 ounce would be too small. So I came across these 16 ounce beer can glass cups and I was like, those are perfect for what I need. And this has been what I've been using for my iced coffees in the mornings. If you guys watch my vlogs, you guys I'm sure recognized all of the coffee accessories, but I really, really love these. If you guys want like that glass can, and kind of aesthetic that's like very very trendy and popular right now but you want a bigger size these are definitely the ones for you they're really really good quality they hold a lot of liquid I think that these are like 16 ounces and I also love the fact that it comes with a little top if you want to take your iced coffee to go and it does come with a set of glass straws so you can just like order the set and get everything in one all right you guys well that's gonna be it for this Amazon favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed again if you haven't already make sure to check out my Amazon travel favorites if you guys want more product suggestions especially geared towards travel and of course don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on my annual Amazon gift guide. But anyways, I'll go ahead and end the video here. I love you guys. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.